Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today I'm going to bring you the comfort of cheesy pasta along with the flavors and ingredients that we love in tacos. And I'm going to put it together as a casserole in my crock pot. Y'all, it's going to be so easy and so delicious, I promise you this. So the first thing we're going to do is I've got my skillet over here and we're going to start browning up our ground beef and adding some peppers and onions to it. Now that's the only cooking process that we're going to do. Everything else is going to happen in the crock pot. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright, so you want to use a large skillet and what we're going to do to this is add about a tablespoon of oil. Start heating that up. Now, you can do this the night before. You can prep your ground beef, your peppers and onions the night before, and that way in the morning you can just shove it all into your crock pot with the other ingredients and let it go. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how to prep your ground beef and peppers for that. So while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead now and add my ground beef. Now, I'm using two pounds here. about leftovers in our house we love. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead now and cut my pepper, just the four sides off of my pepper here. And then anything I can get off of it that I can use. Just like that. Put that in there. Put that off to the side. And then I'm going to chop up my onion. I'm just going to prep that. I'm going to peel off the outer layer. Now I'm going to dice these pretty big. I don't want to do it too small or you'll lose it in the crock pot, okay? So anytime I cook in the crock pot vegetables, I make sure they're pretty big so we can see them. What I'm using here is just my meat chopper. I love this meat chopper, y'all. When you're using any kind of ground meats like ground turkey, ground beef, ground chicken, ground pork, ground sausage, that's a lot of what I use. I like to use my meat chopper here. You just put it on top of the meat while it's cooking, push down and twist. And it breaks it up all into nice pieces. While we get that going, I'm going to cut my onions into quarters here. Okay, so another tool that I love to use in my kitchen is this chopper here. Okay, so I just put my quarter of an onion on there, and that's it. And you can see down here in the big bowl that it comes with, that it did the nice chopping there. i turn my heat up on my meat. I'm just going to take my peppers and do the same thing. Alright, so that was the size of the dice that I was using. And there's all of my peppers and onions. I'm going to go ahead now and add that to my ground beef. So once you start getting your ground beef all broken up into nice pieces here, you can say goodbye to the chopper. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and turn that up. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my pepper and my onion. And I'm going to finish cooking up the ground beef here. I'm going to go ahead and season this. All right, got some pepper, about half a teaspoon, some salt. Half a teaspoon. Now I've got my taco seasoning here. I'm going to use just a little bit of it. Now this is my homemade taco seasoning and I do have a link for it down below in my description box if you want to see the video on that on how to make your own. So to kind of get it started, probably one teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this all up and then finish browning the meat. Yep, 
another favorite tool in my kitchen because I can start opening up my cans while I go and do something else. So you just put it on your can, hit the button twice. Here's so what I'm going to do now is put all of my meat, peppers, and onion mixture into the sleeve of the crock pot. Make sure you drain the grease. Alright, what we're going to do now is just add everything into our crock pot. Now I've got about 16 ounces of drained corn. I'm going to put in 16 ounces of crushed tomatoes, 8 ounces of your favorite bacane sauce. Now you can use mild, medium, or hot. We are using the medium today. So this jar is 8 ounces. I'm going to go ahead and just put the whole jar in there. I'm going to put in 2 and a half cups of some chicken broth. Now you can also put water in here if you would like. If you don't want to use the chicken stock, you can use beef stock, water, vegetable stock, whatever you want to use. And then three tablespoons of your taco seasoning. All right, let's give that a stir. Ooh, those green peppers in there. I'm telling you what, doesn't that look good? Now, what you're going to want to do at this point is give it a try and see if your salt and pepper level is where you want it. Mmm. Absolutely. Make sure we get all that goodness in there. Does that look good? Mmm. All right, let's put a lid on it. Okay, we're gonna cook this on high for about three hours, or you can cook it on low for five to six hours. When we come back, I'm gonna finish this off with the pasta, and we gotta have the cheese. So make sure you come back and stick around for that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up if we're still on track. All right, it is time to add the pasta. Now, I am using medium shells here, and we're gonna add about 12 ounces of this. Now, why I'm using the shells is because it's got nice little pockets to hold that deliciousness that's inside the crock pot there. So let's see what's going on. Mm. Okay, let's give it a stir. It is smelling amazing in there. All right, in goes my 12 ounces. All right, I'm going to put this on high. If you don't already have it on high, go ahead and put your crock pot on high. Get all the pasta stirred into it. All right. We're going to cook this for about 10 to 20 minutes. We just want to cook the pasta. So we'll check it at the 10 minute mark and see if we need to add any more time to it. All right, so I've taken the lid off, stirring it up. The pasta took about 12 minutes to cook on my end, so that's what it did. Now I'm going to add one cup of cheese to this. And I'm using a Mexican Cheddar Jack blend. I'm gonna sprinkle my cheese in. And then I'm just gonna mix it all together.
crock pot taco pasta casserole. Look at how delicious that is. I'm going in to take a bite for you guys. Okay, look at this. All the flavors and ingredients we love in a taco and cheesy pasta comfort goodness we love combined together in a casserole form right in our crock pot. Mm. Y'all have to make this one. It is delicious. Now, I've made something like this before and I used the jumbo shells and I stuffed taco flavorings and ingredients in the shells. So this is kind of similar to it. So you got either way. I'll link that one down below in my description box if you want to check that one out also. Okay guys, here you go. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I will see you on the next episode. Mmm.